Uh, so I'm now out of uh, camera shot. I thought it'd be a better opportunity to show you um, some of the component parts that um, I actually got. So we've got there obviously um, the fake tank and the uh, fuel tank. Um, and one of the most important parts I was told to make sure that I got hold of was the um, uh, inner and outer uh, rear mud guards because they're very difficult to get hold of. Um, uh, the seat, I'm obviously going to uh, do a total renovation on that and say so most of the other parts are all here. One of the things I was told to look at very carefully, um, which you've now got in shot, is the actual frame itself and particularly looking around this area here um, for damage because from what I understand is um, when you have any front impact um, on the arrow, um, it's the forks that are so strong that where it ends up taking all of the um, the impact is around this area here. Um, so what we're looking for is any creasing at all. And as you can see from what I've got there, there's, there's nothing, that's absolutely perfect. The other place that I was also told to have a look at um, was down where the engine mounts are um, for any signs of stress there or splitting in the metalwork. And again, as you can see, they're all perfectly good. Um, so with this particular uh, frame what I'm going to do is uh, send this off and I'm going to have this um, actually powder coated I think this will probably give me a better and uh, a longer finish on there um, and I'll probably do the same with the uh, the other white parts as well um, to get them done to a finish um, but as for the um, the fake tank or toolbox I think what I'm going to do with that is I'll, I'll get that professionally sprayed I could have a go at it myself but I'm just a little bit concerned I won't get the finish um, that I want because last time I did it I ended up with some bits of orange peel in there as most of us do so that's uh, all the component parts as for the engine itself I stripped this down yesterday in fact um, and as you will see from here it looks like somebody's already done an awful lot of work before I got to it. The heads are very, very clean, and I also noticed that um, the pistons looked to be new as well. Um, and there was a shot there um, of everything stripped, stripped out. So everything looks fairly good. The only thing that I know that I'm missing is um, there are no points or contacts um, in this particular engine so that's something I'm going to have to consider what I'm going to do now recently I've been involved at work with um, the new electronic ignition system so I think what I'm going to do